It's so, so, so hot today. Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today we are tasting some more treats from around the world that you guys have been sending me and it is the turn of Czechoslovakia today. Look, Czech. Let me, let me just check. There will be no more Czech puns in this video. Hello, or a hodge as Czechs would say there, Barry. Welcome to the guide through this box. I hope it's still intact. I hope you'll enjoy these treats and snacks and have a good time filming them. But anyway, let's get straight into the Czech Republic. This is the Czech Republic in a box, apparently. Let me check. No. But seriously, <laughs> look at this. Mmm, shoes. Look at this level of effort. This is this is grade A stuff right here. Uh, it's been sent in from Matthias Urban. There we go. Sounds like a country singer. Hi, my name is Matthias Urban. I'm gonna sing a song. That's a fair bit of stuff, isn't it? Just to let you know, periodically, I am diving between a huge fan, which is over there, to, to cool me down. Can't have me fainting on you. First up is a Margot, or Marjo. Marjo, it sounds like a detective. Hi, I'm Marjo. Tichinka Sokozova Prochita. This is by Orion. I think they made movies, didn't they? They are. It's got a Caribbean vibe going on. Margot, and it's also the same as a Shijivish Resi. One of these. All right. These two are pretty good. Although they may taste similar, they are both different. Margot takes you to the sunny beaches somewhere in the tropical place with a pina colada in your hand, while Sir Jovi Reze, well, they are just soya stumps. Well, you sold that one, didn't you, mate? Both are really popular. I don't know, the sound of soy stumps doesn't sound as appealing as being in a pina colada tropical paradise, you know what I'm saying? I think the soya slices are here longer, though. Alrighty. I did wonder what that was. It looked like a big slab of butter or something. So let's uh, let's go with the tropical paradise one first. As it's warm in here, they are gonna be quite clammy. Yes. Ooh, smells, that does smell quite alcoholic actually. Doesn't appear to be alcohol in it. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting like a rummy vibe. Rummy. Now I'm getting a marzipan vibe. I'm not sure if there was marzipan in there, but it blooming tasted like it. It had kind of like a coconutty texture to it. Mmm. And if that's the nice one, what does the soy stumps taste like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's like a butch finger. Oh, it does smell quite buttery. Oh, I've just spat that out, but now I'm like, oh, the aftertaste isn't so bad. I'm gonna try it again. It's the texture that's doing it. Really grainy and gritty and it, it's that initial feel. It does taste like marzipan, but then ugh, buttery, buttery stick. Let's go with something a bit more normal looking. Um, Havlik. We really like breadsticks like those. You know, just sit on the couch in the evening, drink beer and eat breadsticks. Yeah, I like it. I like that a lot. That's basically a normal Czech middle-aged person. Amazing. I think I'm instantly best mates with all Czech people. You can't miss those on birthday parties and parties in general. You go someplace where a lot of people are going to be, there are breadsticks. And these have cheese in them. <sighs> really? Loving how there's a huge like pool of salt on the front there, really welcoming, you know, but you can't see any hint of, of cheese on there. Oh, and they sell like those sort of cheesy breadsticks, which I also dislike. It's a good start. No, smells quite innocent. Laced with salt, look at that. It's like it's been a vajazzled breadstick. Can't taste the cheese in that. That's all right. Very, very salty though. It's like I'm taking a shot glass from the sea and just downing it in one. That's all right, very, very salty, but Hey, can't taste the cheese, all good with me. If I wanted to make sure there was no cheese in it, I could check the pa- This thing excites me immensely. Tradici la Zazensky or Platsky or Rizikovi. Wow, it's a mouthful. You don't want to say that with a toffee in your mouth. It, I thought, when I looked at the box like that, I was like, oh my gosh, I can see hazelnuts on it. Are these like hazelnut tortillas or something like that? Let's find out. Okay, so these are called spa wafers, basically. Little seal thing there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look. <gasps> it's like Christmas! Look, it actually is like some sort of thing that you'd find in some Greek spa. Maybe that's what is why it's called a, a spa wafer. It's got the whole emblem thing on there. It's like a massive coin. So to me, it does look like there's two of these wafers wedged together, very, very thin, and there could be some sort of chocolate inside it, hazelnutty thing, unless they're just hazelnut wafers. It smells good though. Do we just eat it like this? Ooh, that's pretty good actually. At first it was like, ooh, 
It's like having an uh, ice cream wafer with no ice cream. I'm sure there's people in the world that do that, but for me, I can't, I can't imagine that being even nice at all. But do you know, um, here in the UK, I did it on one of the uh, British tasting videos. There's these ones where you get like, um, they're kind of like flying saucers, we call them, where it's basically edible paper with sherbet in the middle. This is like a massive flat version of one of those. Probably makes a really good Frisbee as well. Okay. Yeah. There are little bits in it though. I don't know if you can see it, just little specks of hazelnut. I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. There's a very thin layer of like sugary nuts in it. That's really nice. Really, really dry though. So the next one's gotta be a drink, but I do like that a lot. Just feels like I'm eating a massive wafery coin, but um, cool. I don't know about you, but I could sure go for a can of kafola right now. Reminds me of the phrase kafuffle. Uh, so, oh, he's made a little bit of an accent there. He's had a right kafola. Kafola original. I'm loving the color scheme on it. Very coppery and brown metallic vibes going on. Some sort of splash across there, look at that, very nice. Let's see what we've got about this one then. The reward, the kafola, it's actually a reward. Many people refer to it like the Czech Coke or a herbal Coca-Cola. And that's what it is. Beautiful blend between Coke and herbs form an amazing picture of the Czech Republic. Enjoy it cold with your Brad sticks. English is amazing, apart from the spelling of bread there, actually put Brad sticks as in Brad Pitt with sticks. Probably a lot of women's ideal scenario, really. So I have put this in the fridge. We are gonna... Ooh, instant smell, just like Coca-Cola. Let's get it in a glass. Color, I think we're gonna go for Coca-Cola, right? It's gotta be brownie. Oh, yes it is. There's the Tom Cruise cocktail pour there. There we go. It does look just like Coke, doesn't it? Ooh. I know what they're saying now about it being more herbal. It's kind of like someone's got me a can of Coke, they've stuck stinging nettles in it and loads of other herbs, let it sort of marinate and mingle for two weeks, taking those out, then put it in a can, and uh, that's, it's, it is really herbal. It's like grassy Coca-Cola. There's something more delicate about it as well. I kind of like it. Tangy, but mild. Coke isn't normally my number one drink of choice, but it's okay. Let me just go check the time. Going straight from a kafola to a kofila, all right? I don't know. Original Odd 1923. It's got a lady sat on a chocolate stump drinking a coffee on there. Can you see that? So it kind of looks like she might be uh, preparing herself for this chocolate coffee bar. Oh, there's definitely a coffee bean there. So he's actually doubled this up um, with something called a kavenki uh, on here. Now, kavenki, when I looked at it, looks like two of these other ones as well. They look very, very similar. So we're not gonna do the kavenki but these ones will probably look at those. Lots of wafery layered chocolate things. Kafila is very smooth. I love it. Uh, it's a chocolate stick filled with wonderful black coffee filling made out of real coffee. Beautiful. I think there was one in the Italian taste treat video that was like that. Phenomenal. All right. Let's undress the chocolate bar. Ooh, little uh, snappy bits like this. Well, it's not gonna snap, it's so hot in here. Look, that's so melted. <gasps> Can you see the middle? That is just pure coffee in there apparently. Oh, it smells so strong. That actually smells like alcohol again. Hang on a sec. Oh my word. That is so strong. I actually feel like I've just done a shot of coffee, like straight, like it was injected into me. That's absolutely wonderful. I kind of want to try a Kavenki now, because that's so good. I will. Oh my God. More wafers. Oh, wow, wow. Not quite as coffee-ish as the Kofila, but that was really, really good. In fact, I need to check the uh, the amount uh, of calories in these things. Well, we might as well go to these other wafers now while they're here. So we've got the Mila, Mila, makes me want to sing, and the Haralki. In Czech Republic, there are three main companies that store us with the sweets. One of them is Sedita. Haralki are one of the most favorite and common wafers to grab on a trip. Everyone likes them and everyone is still grabbing them for a trip more than 50 years on. That's quite a long sell-by date. And Mila, it's basically another Sedita's Minion? Minion? Very tasty. Very creamy, that's it. No, really, it's just a creamy version of Horalki. Oh, you beautiful thing. Look at that. Just wafers with chocolate on it. That is really, really good. So this is like creamy friend. Hi, I'm uh, his creamy friend. So this one's got more of a roof on it, whereas that one's concentrating more on the sides. You, know, you see? Creamy. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that is blooming beautiful. There is like a, I don't know if it is cream, but there's like a very soft whitey layer to it. It's just, mm. let me check the packaging. I can't speak Czech. 
it's amazing. I have a rule uh, when I do <laughs> these videos that I don't open anything that um, in the nicest way is not sealed in its original packaging. Uh, particularly when I see something like this with a skull and crossbones on it that's been drawn on saying, use extreme caution. <laughs> Back in your box. Olimiki Sereki, also known as Taruski. Olukamuk creams. Caution, do not open straight out of the bo box. Put it in the fridge for at least 15 minutes if you don't want to have your house smell for two days. So, yeah, Olomeki Tavaruski are a smelly cheese originated in the Olomouk town. I really don't know who eats this, but it's the smelliest Czech thing ever. Serve with powder pepper and beer. Enjoy. I have to put it out there, this hasn't been in my fridge. This has been in a box in my loft for about two months. Um, so I don't even know if it's edible. I will put it in my fridge uh, and the dogs do love them apparently. So I think I might do a spin-off video of the dogs in a very big field eating this well away from my house. It's so hot in here. We're doing all right though, aren't we? All right, this next one is called Pernik. I quite like that. I'm sure there was a footballer called Pernik once. Honey gingerbread from Pardubis Town. It reminds me of that song. Want me to take you to Funky Town? It's not Funky Town. Want me to take you to Pardubis Town? Funky Town. This is one of our proud Czech creations. <laughs> what have we created? A wonderful soft gingerbread sandwich with a thick plum jam called Pavidla. That sounds amazing. Pavidla sounds like the Riddler from Batman films, doesn't it? I wonder if that's what they call the Riddler in Czechoslovakia. Batman, will he beat the Pavidla? This food's sending me crazy today, <laughs> unless I've got sunstroke. Of course, there are more flavors than just this one. Basically, every fruit you can think of. Gooseberry, let me know. Except tropical fruits has its own pernic. Amazing. So we have got gingerbread with thick plum jam in it. Although from the cover, very nice, very nice dainty cover. It just looks like a thick slab of gingerbread. I can't see where the um, the plum would go. Let's find out. Svetska, for all of your higher car needs. I also think the phrase pernic is a phrase that you would use if you were having a little cigarette break at work. Oh, wait, uh, where's Alan gone? Oh, he's just on his pernic. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a, it's clammy again, sorry, so hot. And it is gonna stick to my hands. Yes, it is. Look at that, look at that. So I'm gonna use the wrapper to try to help me eat it. In fact, I've probably got chocolate on my teeth. When you know when chocolate's so melted, you look like you've got your chocolate on it and then it looks like you're missing a tooth anyway. Ooh, that's quite dry. Reminds me of the Norwegian taste testing video, that one all of a sudden. It's got that gingerbready cakey vibe about it. Very nice, quite more festive. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a, there's a line of jam, it's not thick at all. It's just one little thin like, meh. Maybe they're like, oh, this one's going to some guy in England who's gonna taste it. Let's just give him a little smidgen. We'll save the good stuff for us. Hmm. On the whole though, I think Pardubis Town can keep this one. It's a little bit too dry for me. Look at that, dry. He is a one man army. He is Delta Crocky. <laughs> if you can't get into your front door, why don't you get yourself a crop key? It looks like a crisp or something. Crop key Arasidov, 100 grams. So it tells you the weight, boom. That's one of its biggest selling point is the weight, I presume. Oh, this doubles up with another one. Straniska's Bramberki with a huge garlic cloves on the front. Look at that. Uh, although these are both something different, they share one same feature. They both used to be pro wrestlers in a previous life or something. No, although that would be weird. They last forever. Well, I'm not even surprised. They are both nothing but oil and the crisps are conserved in the garlic fumes that are protecting them from anything. Wow. So does that mean like the ultimate shield in battle in Marvel movies could just be garlic? Garlic man. If you're a fan of garlic, Stranikri Berberki is the ones, or Krupki are basically peanut puffs like Cheetos, but peanut. I don't like Cheetos because they're covered in cheese. So I might love these. Oh God, blimey. That was like running my nose along a garlic clove. Crikey, that is strong. Garlic flavor crisps. Oh, you see, the thing is for me, and I hope a lot of people are like this, I, the smell of garlic is not the best. I mean, I don't hate it, but whoa, that was strong, but it tastes like garlic bread, and that is phenomenal. These are essentially, to me, hello, Peter Hobza, uh, these are, 
It's actually got his phone number on it. Hi, I'm Peter Hobser. If you'd like to ring me and let me know personally what you think of my garlic crisps. These just taste like garlic bread crisps. Phenomenal. But yeah, they sure do stink. Anyhow, back to the Krupp Key. Uh, we just dived away from that, didn't we? We went straight down Garlic Town. We're not at the Krupp Key times, okay? So these are like Cheetos, but peanut flavor. Ooh, you see that? Sort of like more airy, uh, minion shape, or maybe peanut. <gasps> That's right. That's why they're uh, cooked in uh, like peanut oil, because they're maybe supposed to look like peanuts as well. It just basically <laughs> smells like peanuts. Wow. I can't work out if I like that or not. Yeah, I don't know. A melt in your mouth. It's like someone's got a pot of peanut butter, dumped a load of salt in with it, mixed it together, and I'm just eating it like straight out with nothing to try and lubricate it a little bit. So it's thick and clammy. It's sticking to the roof of my mouth a bit. I gotta be honest with you, Krupke. I'm not nuts about you, but um, as an alternative to Cheetos for me, you know, maybe. I do like these garlic crisps though. They just blooming stink. So there's three left to go, okay? And uh, one of them that Matthias has sent is actually two versions. Uh, it's called a Deli, Deli Double XL. Was actually apparently a pistachio, a chocolate, and a hazelnut version. And it'd be easy for me to just take the hazelnut version because you know how much I like that. He didn't send me the chocolate one, which is fine. So this is the pistachio one. If you thought there was nothing sweeter than sugar itself, you were wrong. There is Deli. It's one of the most popular Czech sweets from 1980, starting with three different flavors, pistachio, chocolate, hazelnut, and it's still relevant. If you can recognize that slight pistachio taste in the sugar avalanche. Sugar avalanche? Yeah, cool. You sure have a good tongue. Thank you. Love the packaging, love it. Oh, look at this. Big old bar. They've all got that same slightly cheeky alcohol -y vibe going on. Oh my gosh. It is like incredible hot green inside, look at that. The packaging did not lie. Mmm. He's right though, he's saying if I could actually taste the pistachio in this, I have a good tongue and it is really cleverly hidden. You can get the vibe of it, but without that you would just think, no, that's just cream of chocolate, baby. More like a kind of moussey vibe, actually. We have got two more left. This one is called the Horiki Trebiki, <laughs> which basically translates to tubes from Horace. I used to know someone who had a dog called Horace. Horace, come here. I'll <laughs> just summon the pugs. Maybe I should have called you Horace, huh? Anyhow, uh, these are tubes made out of very delicate dough, filled with variations of fillings. They got the name after a town, Horace, under Kukukunus, sorry, pronunciation, mountains. The original one here is chocolate. Even in this time, they are all made by hand. The tradition just must be kept. That's cool. So this has physically been made by a Czech person's Czechy hands. Excellent. Well, hey. No. <laughs> they look a bit like dog food. Look at that. They look like those, is it Bonio treats? Uh, this is a big, long old shaft. It's wafery, but light. Yes. Ooh. Also could double up as a cigar, I suppose. I'm gonna snap it in half. See? Chocolatey bits in there. It's like someone's taken a huge cylinder of chocolate and hand rolled it up into a carpet of wafer. Ooh, that is beautiful. It's really rich. It's really naughty. It's got a slight powdery vibe in the sugar going on as well. This filling, it just melts in your mouth. Oh, it's like it's turned into some sort of hot chocolate. I don't know if it's a combination of all the food that I've had already or whether it's just quite a filling thing, but just by having those bites, I'm like, I'm kind of done with you now. I'm done with you, Horiki Tribuki. Horiki Tribuki. Just gonna freshen the taste buds with some kefila. Oh no, this was kefola, wasn't it? So kefila was the other Bari thing. Kefila and kefola should be some sort of like kiddies TV show. I'm kefila and kefola. If that TV show exists, I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm really sorry about the Czech puns in this video. So last up, we are gonna have a, a bar of that well-known opera singer, Ledov Castani. Ledov Castani. Ledov Castani actually translates to ice chestnuts i kid you not unless matthias has used google translate which could translate it to anything could be like a shoe for all i know matthias you have done a phenomenal job of these descriptions on this video have you ever had such a sweet tooth that you had to eat chocolate within chocolate and then he's put no oh yeah well now you can you should do the voiceover matthias for my gadget videos when i review them that'd be great it's a very popular czech sweet that has nothing to do with chestnuts 
It's just a bit of banter. I know, let's confuse them. Let's call it ice chestnuts. Yeah, that sounds like a cool name. It's also used when making a chocolate coating, for example, a cake. Ooh, so the people would melt that up and pour it on a cake? The smoothness inside makes the coating creamy and the chocolate around is making it more sticky. Check this out. My postman. He probably hears me getting really excited uh, when he posts in a letter like, oh wow, that's phenomenal, but he wonders what the heck I'm doing in here. I'm just eating chocolate, baby. That's what they all say. Look at you. You are sophisticated. Look, each uh, chunk has got a nice ribbed line on it, like so. It's time for a bite. My mind's telling me no. Mm. Oh my God. But my body. That is absolutely phenomenal. I always try to save the best till last, and this is ridiculously stonking. It is a chocolate bar with chocolate inside it, and the humidity of this room has merged it and made the two become one. Spice Girls in a chocolate bar. That is just so good. That might be one of the most simplest but greatest chocolate bars I have ever had on any of these tasting videos from all around the world so far. Absolutely phenomenal. So why don't you check in your local supermarket or online if you can get some ice chestnuts, aka Ledov Kastani, phenomenal. Either that or we could help my friend Matthias out by peddling a, some sort of online check treat box. So uh, yeah, Matthias, I think you're gonna get bombarded by requests now. Let, leave your details down below, let everyone message you, sell these for double the price, and you might sell three or four. I need to go for a big run now to burn off all this chocolate, but I'm gonna put that in the fridge and have some of it later. There we are then folks, another tasting treat video in the bag. Ledov Kastani, absolutely phenomenal. But I also did really like these uh, wafer plate-y nutty things because they tasted like paper, it tasted innocent, felt good, and they doubled up as an amazing check frisbee. Uh, don't forget to check out the rest of the other tasting videos to date uh, on the playlist up here and down below. And if you are from a country and you'd like to send, you, well, I'm sure you're from a country, but one that I haven't tasted from ideally and you'd like to send me some treats, uh, message me on my website myvirginkitchen.com on the contact form. We'll have a little chat and hopefully I'll review it in a future video. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun and I will see you again.